I'll have this young man go get you some. You come back with a fucking shot glass and look like a thimble, you know? Damn. So. And then a few minutes later, after I had it, Nixon come by and he goes, Did you get your tequila? I said, If you call this thimble a shot, yeah, I guess so. Well, get him a glass of that. Uh, six, six purple hearts, friggin'. How many bronze stars? Eight. God damn, fuck that. Six, uh, silver stars. Yeah, I'll <coughs> tell you what, friggin', I had a couple buddies of mine that got, uh, bronze star, V, that type of stuff. And I think our, uh, my company, Gunny, he had over 30 confirmed kills just in my first tour. Yeah. And I think he retired like two years later. Than that. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, he ended up getting the Bronze Star because he saved a bunch of lives throughout the whole travel from Kuwait up to Baghdad. Yeah. <coughs> where, was the, where was the heaviest fighting for you at, though? <laughs> uh, Cambodia border. Ah, oh, I got you, Laos, Cambodia area. Yeah. Up, we were up in uh, North Vietnam for a while. Really? Doing a few little assassinations. Yeah, they never talked about that stuff, did they? No. Nope. Oh, hush, hush. Well, we worked for Air America for a while. What was, it, about what was it, Air America? That's uh, CIA. Oh, okay. Where they'd run guns to, like, the mountain yards. and Just different things, man. It was just different shit. Oh, yeah. Drugs for certain generals. If I ever put everything I know on paper, yeah. fuck, I'd be gone like that. They'd never find my body. Well, at least you got out in higher rank and, than most people, though. That's for sure. You ever get you get the meritorious combat promotion shit? Uh, field grade promotion. Yeah. I went from uh, I went from buck sergeant to platoon sergeant, and then when I came back, they said I didn't have the time. This one major was giving me a hard time, and he wasn't even in our unit. Uh, he was raising all kinds of hell, and he come in. We were in a, a, a central mess hall. It wasn't our mess hall. Our mess hall was getting renovated. Yeah. And I had my E7 stripes on, and I looked like a kid, you know. I looked like I just came out of fucking junior high. Yeah. And, uh... You can't be wearing them stripes like that. He's just yelling at me. I looked over at my lieutenant, you know, we just got back. And he goes, no, don't do it, athlete, don't do it. And I nailed this motherfucker, just hit him. And uh, I, I lost my stripes. Uh, I got popped down to E4. And it was like 30 days later, I got back to E7. My colonel took care of me. My That's colonel cool. said I reminded him of his son that he lost. He took me under his wing. Yeah, I had uh, Colonel uh, <coughs> Colonel McCoy. He was in charge of our unit. He was just a lieutenant colonel, though. And had, uh, I had Colonel Hummer as our regimental commander. He was full bird. Yeah, when uh, Lieutenant Colonel Trinkle was mine, he made uh, full bird, and then he got his first star. And then, uh, so he mine decided to retire before he got his first star. I don't think he wanted to deal with the politics. And then uh, he stayed in. He ended up at three stars. And then he died. Uh, died when I was up in Fallon. So that'd be 2010. Some buddies of mine uh, that's still in the CIA, they had called me and told me he had died. He goes, where are you at? And I told him where I was at. They said, uh, we'll have a 